What are these guys? My name is Swifters and today I'm coming at you guys with a live commentary and a live gameplay of some Call of Duty Zombies. This is some OG Zombies. We are playing on the map of Verruckt. And the reason why I say that this is OG Zombies is because we're currently playing on World at War. None of that Black Ops 1 remastered maps. This is where it all began. Call of Duty World at War, playing on the first DLC map, Verruckt, and in today's video I just wanted to talk to you guys about this map. Now in my opinion, I think that Verruckt is probably the scariest map that we have ever gotten in Call of Duty Zombies. Now I know a lot of people feel the same way about this just because Verruckt really creates a pretty terrifying atmosphere. First off, it's located in an abandoned asylum and just right off the bat, asylums are creepy as fuck. Another reason why this map is so goddamn scary is because you guys can hear this. It's a fucking baby crying. Why is there a baby crying in an asylum? Okay, the thing about World at War is that the knife is just so bad. It is honestly the worst thing in zombies. I hate knifing zombies in this game. Now a really cool aspect that I personally like about Verruckt is that if you guys were to play with multiple people, oftentimes it spawns you in different areas of the map. Two people often spawn in this room and two people spawn on the other side. And it's really cool because it tells you that power will reunite you and your teammates. And I really really like that aspect about Verruckt. It definitely adds a little bit of suspense and horror to the map just because you're not with your teammates the entire time and I think that that would be something that Treyarch should reincorporate in a future DLC map having the team split up in the very beginning just because it makes the map a little bit more difficult and I think that that would be a really cool thing to have in Black Ops 3 just because it's such an advanced game and Treyarch could come up with some amazing ideas by having our team split up in the very beginning of the map. There is just all sorts of noises going on in this map that I am not down for. What the hell? Gonna purchase the OG Thompson. I absolutely love this gun in World at War, and I love even more the Tommy gun in Black Ops 2 Zombies when they brought that to Mob of the Dead. Oh, I fell in love with that gun. So, so fun. Now, a while back, I actually made a top five scariest zombie maps and I'm pretty sure that I had Verruckt as number one because as I said, I think it's the scariest map and a lot of people share the same opinions. Other zombie YouTubers think the same and hopefully you guys agree with me on that because Verruckt is undoubtedly the scariest map. I know it's a small map and I know that people may be saying how can a game be scary but in the context of Call of Duty Zombies compared to other maps, this one is pretty terrifying. Now, Treyarch have also made other scary zombie maps. Mob of the Dead comes in second for sure, just because that map is so dark and so eerie. For example, you have the showers, and in the showers, there are just body bags upon body bags hanging from the ceiling, and it definitely adds some horror to that map. I love this game so, so much. Even though the graphics aren't too good, it's still really cool to go back and see really where it all began, and having perks in the map for the very first time was also super, super cool. See, this is just another example as to why Verruckt is so damn scary. I cannot wait to see what Treyarch has in store for DLC 3. I really hope they go back to that scary, eerie type of zombies map. I don't know if you guys recall, but Jason Blundell said in an interview that Zetsuba no Shima was going to be the scariest map that he has ever created. And in all honesty, I was a little bit disappointed when the map actually came out because it wasn't all that scary. Granted, the map did have some scary features to it, such as the doppelganger jump scare and all of those weird audio easter eggs around the map, but for the most part, it didn't do the same thing that Verruckt did. If you guys are kind of catching my drift, Verruckt is just on another level that I can't really explain, and I really hope that with DLC 3, we do have that scare factor that I know a lot of zombie lovers really enjoy. Whoops. Honestly, just overall, I think Verruckt is a really creepy map, and I'm sure you guys feel the same about this, but let me know down in the comment section below what your top three scariest zombie maps are. For me, number one goes to Verruckt, number two goes to Mob of the Dead, and number three is actually Origins. That's my opinion. I think Origins is pretty creepy just because it's a battleground, a World War I battleground, and we have zombies and 
other people's bodies just impaled by spikes all across the battlefield. Regardless, hopefully you guys dig on into today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below and also subscribe. I'll be sure to catch you guys in the next video. And until next time, guys, this has been Swifters. I'm out. Peace.